Phyllis Sports. Good evening, everyone. It was a tough choice, but it was the right choice. That's what Tennessee Governor Ned McWhorter says about his decision to deny a wastewater variance to Canton's champion paper mill. Today, the governor told reporters just how that tough decision was reached. Honest with me, and then I'll do Governor Ned Ray McWhorter says he did a lot of studying and soul searching before shocking Champion and North Carolina officials a few weeks ago. The company, the two states, and the EPA had agreed on a compromise that would reduce the amount of color Champion discharges into the Pigeon River. The agreement would keep the paper mill running and its 2,400 employees on the job. But that all changed December 23rd when McWhorter rejected the deal. The governor says he canoed down the pigeon. Above the Canton Mill, he says, the river is beautiful and thriving. But at the mill's discharge point, McWhorter says it's a different story. And that discharge comes out and it's just an absolute sewer. McWhorter says he met with Champion's chairman of the board and studied 10 years of the paper company's annual reports. The governor said he learned that Champion and its stockholders have been doing very well, while nothing has been done to clean up the river. And I wanted to help them. I tried to find every way I could to help them. But then when I looked at the alternatives, and I actually looked back the day I was on top of that discharge point, knowing they'd had all that time, and knowing they were not a company that was in distress financially, I made up my mind. In a telephone interview tonight, Champion Vice President Oliver Blackwell said he was not aware of McWhorter's comments, but said he is still disappointed the variance was rejected. Blackwell calls the compromise plan the best current technology that is economically achievable, and says it offers the quickest way to clean up the pigeon. Blackwell says the mill has spent more than $25 million on environmental improvements in recent years, plus $20 million a year on 68 full-time employees who oversee the plant's environmental impact. The champion vice president says the company has not been ignoring the river and stresses the color standard that Tennessee wants is unachievable. Tennessee Governor McWhorter recently returned from a vacation in the Bahamas and he has been unavailable for comment until now. In the meantime, North Carolina and Champion are still trying to figure out what their next move will be. A superior court